The largest Buddhist temple in the world, Borobudur, is the most visited site in Indonesia, not only for its extraordinary architecture, but also its mystery. You see, Sir Thomas Stamford Raffles is often credited with the rediscovery of Borobudur. Raffles was serving as the governor of Java for the British and was a very inquisitive kind of guy. He showed a great interest in the rumors about some big temple in a nearby jungle. So back in 1815, he sent a Dutch engineer to explore, and after two months of very intensive work, his team unearthed the remains of Borobudur beneath layers of volcanic ash and dense jungle. They found what some have called a giant outdoor sculpture book of Buddha's life. No ancient records about the temples were ever recovered though. Nothing on construction or architecture. Nothing on the Salendra royal families that likely built Borobudur back in the 8th century. Nothing explaining exactly why the site was abandoned. It's a big mystery. My favorite explanation is that a volcano erupted back in 928 and a subsequent earthquake caused Borobudur to lie dormant for nearly 1,000 years. Another idea is that with Java's 14th century conversion to Islam, Buddhism fell out of favor to the point where those who visited the old site, Borobudur, were said to be cursed. <laughs> we may never know for sure. A sidebar, sadly, the terrorist wackos have also discovered Borobudur. Back in 1985, nine stupors were badly damaged by bombs, and in 1991, a blind Muslim preacher and his band of true believers were sentenced for that crime. Also in 2014, a jihadist group following a strict interpretation of Islam that condemns sculptures as anthropomorphic representations of idolatry threatened total destruction of Borobudur. Paraphrasing Albert Einstein, the world will not be destroyed by those who are evil, but by those who watch them and do nothing.